All right, so in this video, I'm, uh, I'm just going to quickly go over how you'd fix the, the rule of thirds if you'd messed it up when you were filming. And, uh, I mean, the rule of thirds is it's kind of hard to mess up once you're good at it, but, I mean, I've, I've done it a few times. And sometimes you feel like a shot and you want to make it, you know, work for the, for the scene, but you just feel a little bit off, um, and you can actually fix that. Um, the fix is kind of roundabout, though. Um, so you won't be able to uh, use it for all the clips. Uh, so it is best you try and get the rule of thirds done proper the first time. Uh, just so I can show you, I'm, uh, I'm going to use an overlay so you can see the rule of thirds properly. Uh, oh, one second, sorry about that. So you can see the rule of thirds grid now. And you can see that it just doesn't line up quite perfectly. So how would you go about fixing this? Uh, well, you go by like this. You'd go into the effect controls and you'd, you'd you pitch in, you you change the scale. Um, and of course, this makes the image look worse, uh, which is why you don't want to do it all the time. You don't want to rely on this method to fix it. Now, I think this doesn't fix the issue. Um, you know, just just makes it bigger. And what it does like to do is it gives you some movement space, so you can move the image around a little bit, um, so you can better line up how you want it. So in this shot, I want to try and get the mouse and the arm on the uh, on the grid and setting points. So this way, I can do that. Um, but again, it, it, it fixes the issue technically, uh, but I wouldn't like doing it all the time. Um, in this shot again, I had a similar issue. I was trying to line him up on this line here, um, and it just didn't quite work out that way. Uh, it's, it's, he kept moving around. Um, my camera was positioned great because the room's kind of small. Uh, so overall, the shot just didn't work how I wanted it to. But again, uh, I should be able to fix it somewhat if I uh, you know scale it up. Uh, but this is an example of a shot that's kind of ruined if you do it this way. Um, I didn't ever use, I didn't end up actually using this shot when I finished this uh, this documentary um, because I couldn't fix it without cutting off his head, uh, which of course I didn't want to do. If I do it this way, it just doesn't look as appealing. You know, you miss out all the background. Um, so this shot can't be salvaged this way, um, which I just wanted to show you to show that this isn't a foolproof method. Um, here's another shot. Um, I quite like the shot, the lighting's quite nice, it's a bit grainy, um, but you know, the lighting was quite nice and it was good for a cutaway. Um, so again, you'd you'd pitch up the scale and you can move them around. Now this seems uh, pretty easy, and it is, um, but it's something that doesn't necessarily occur to everybody straight away that they can even do it. Um, I mean, it certainly didn't occur to me straight away that you could do it, uh, I had to be told it. Uh, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't use this all the time. Um, just because it'll, it'll ruin a lot of the shots. Uh, so in uh, this showing you how, I'm going to include these clips and a few more um, so you can practice doing this yourself. Um, I'm also going to include this little graphic overlay um, so you can use that so you can check it with yourself. And of course when you're, not, when you're done with this you can, uh, you can just turn it off. Um, it is good to have this when you're editing by the way, this overlay, um, just to check uh, when you're editing regular stuff. Even if you've got it quite right, you know, you might be a little bit off. So it's nice to have it just to check. I use it sometimes. Um, but yeah, that's that's about everything. Um, just practice doing it yourself. But I mean, as I said, don't don't rely on this. It's it's not it's not a fix really. It's a, it's you know it's it's plaster on a on a gunshot wound. It's you don't want to mess up with the thirds. You want to get good at getting that right the first time. 